Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The paths have finally met up to Catacomb Caverns. Let's do it. Oh yeah, feeling, feeling the tension in the air. Oh, I probably shouldn't go on this. <laughs> okay, it's kind of safe to do that. Ho oh, ho. The, um, those pla- those platforms look a lot more slippery than they actually are. Like, you know grass in real life is pretty slippery when on a slope because, you know, if it gets a little wet, it's got that slick-like surface. But here, now it's pretty grippy. <laughs> and uh, as you can tell, they don't quite go in the lava, but I bet you can tell what level this one was based off of in the original Super Mario World. You know, the original um, unmodified ROM. Also, be wary of jumping on these because if they stop moving and you think and you think you're gonna land on them, where like before they stop moving and they do stop moving and then you land in front of them, you're gonna fall to your doom. <laughs> so yeah, midpoint already. It's uh, kind of kind of generous. <laughs> uh, although this segment here, um, it's it's a toughie because you got the Koopas. For some reason, they're flying indoors. I thought. They would tell Koopas not to do that, but oh geez. They're they're doing it though. Oh yeah, they're doing it. Ah, poopers. That's the danger of the area, is that they can pop out on the edge of the screen as you're falling down. It's not so much the midway areas like like these right here. It's it's the sides that are the most dangerous. Cause okay, from behind the good Ooh, Oh shoot, go 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 go! Power up! Yeah! Go go go! <laughs> That's kind of a risky coin to get because they could pop off from the left side and uh oh. <laughs> so much going on, slowing down the screen. Or slowing down the game. Yeah. No 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 no. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should have got grabbed that shell shoot. Just in case of stuff like that. Dang it. <laughs> That was a pretty decent run, but there's a lot more to go. Yeah, that's that's why it's a pretty mean area. <laughs> I think that I would be happier if that midpoint was like midway through this section of death. <laughs> Although I, I I think with the way Super Mario World works, you can't exactly um, uh, get the Koopas to spawn wherever you want them to, like because the way generators work, you have to touch a certain- Ah oh, shoot! But the shell, it was useless to me! <laughs> Wait, where'd the Koopa go in this shell? I don't trust that shell. I just want one- Yeah! Oh shoot, I keep losing shells! <laughs> There's just too much flying around! <clears throat> Good no oh! Yeah, could have been bad. <laughs> well, not gonna get that. <laughs> not worth it. I will grab the shell though. Down. Lost it again. I tried to do a duck jump to get like over it, but I failed at doing so. Get stop it. No. Um, as you can tell, the uh, the flying Koopas are like reverse flying fish in that. You're just as safe at the center of the screen, but that, that's the thing, you gotta move away from the center of the screen when you get to the edges. And uh, it gets, it feels sort of kind of luck-based in a way, which I'm not a fan of. Anything in here? I thought there was, uh, I guess not. Maybe it just feels like there was gonna be something there because there was pipes that are easily accessible. Oh boy! <laughs> this is a yellow level, so don't have to worry about any secret exits, and thus I don't really feel like checking stuff that is too dangerous to check. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I despawned it. Yeah. Shoot. No, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Koopas are still coming. Koopas are still coming. It's safe to go up, but not to go down. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, no more Koopas, please. Please, no more Koopas. So, don't like this spot. Don't like this. <laughs> I don't like slopes. They are the trickiest things in the game to jump off of. 
Even more tricky than the very oddly bouncing charging Chuck's heads. Oh boy. Three, two, one. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Oh jeez, that was close. I just touched the edge of it. <laughs> I made it. That went a lot better than I thought it would have. I mean, that level is pretty tricky. Another yellow level, sweet pyramid pass. Super Mario Land music! Yellow Yoshi is going to eat the world of all of its Koopas and make them extinct for natural selection prefers Yoshis, clearly. <laughs> oh! No! No! no. Mm. Mm. Peace switch would be very nice to have here, but I don't think. Whoa! No! <laughs> I don't think one is around the vicinity. I thought one might be. Uh, oh, these things are really weird. Okay, there's the these backwards question mark blocks are like slopes. See that? They they look like a block, but they're not actually. Oh! 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 oh, oh. <laughs> but they're not actually a block. They're they're concealing these weird slopes. See that? You, and then you drop through them like that. Well, you gotta sort of get the hang of jumping against the grain, I guess you could say, in order to get through those. Uh, yeah, but do not run across them. Never, ever run across them. Always make a jump when you are doing an attempt to cross them. Otherwise, you're just going to flop through them like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it's a matter of getting the feel for these blocks. Um, these uh, these you can run because you're again you're going with the grain, so you can just happily go um, right to left like that. But when you're going to whoa 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 whoa, when you're going to the right, that's that's a whole whole other issue as you see here. Nope. So I think I'm gonna actually avoid those just for the sake of safety, and I can't. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm, I, that that coin is so not worth it when you got these really confidence-killing blocks, <laughs> which aren't really blocks. Oh, remember, jump a little bit to the left before I should say, angle yourself a little bit to the left before you land on the blocks. Whoopsie! I was a little bit too far ahead of the block there, but I got the midpoint, so I'm fine. Let's move on. Let's forget that ever happened. Don't, don't look at the life counter. Nothing ever happened. Nothing to see here. Careful. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> hmm. Maybe it would be better if I tried jumping on the left tip of the blocks rather than trying to angle myself on them because you know the left tip of them is the very tip of the slope so yeah maybe i should be aiming for a little bit of more of a precise landing but uh it's it might be more stable I'm just gotta ah oh, shoot <laughs> these blocks are something else come on pyramid pass i can defeat you I have precise enough jumping skills to defeat you. Oh yeah. That's my taunt to this level. Which doesn't know that I'm actually taunting it, because it's not sentient. But it makes me feel better. <laughs> okay. Okay. You. Solid ground, kind of. Mm, red Koopa. That could pose to be an issue, maybe? No, I guess not. Okay. Now we got ourselves some downward moving that could prove to be an issue depending on where stuff is. Oh geez, I didn't know those blocks were there. That could have gone badly. Oh boy. Please stay up there. <laughs> I don't want any unpredictable shells to flop down on me. Will you fall through somehow, some way? How about I do this? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that just respawned it. Dang it! 
because I think it'll bounce back at a certain point. I could fall through here, okay. That's a lot of Koopas coming. That's a lot of Koopas. Divide and conquer. Divide. Oh, I can't believe I did that of all things. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, I had so much land to work with there, and yet I pushed myself off the edge. <sighs> Well, in any case, I'm pretty sure I got the got used to the uh, haphazard Xbox 360 D-pad, as you can tell by my playing consistency. I'm pretty sure that jumping off of Koopas is more consistent than using the blocks, actually. Come to think of it, <laughs> I mean, you've also got the you know downslope worries of jumping off them as well, like you know with forward momentum. So yeah, that's why I don't like these blocks very much. Okay, move it, guys. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I knew that was there! That's why I was scared to go down. <laughs> blocks of these kinds, by far the most dangerous obstacle of the level. <laughs> But I'm starting to sort of kind of get the hang of those suckers. Woo! So yeah, I definitely want to avoid touching those blocks whenever I can. <laughs> you! Get out of here! Get scoop! You two! Rah! Okay, here comes. Maybe I should try landing on a Koopa. Oof, rather than. Ow! <laughs> rather than trying to land on the blocks like because you gotta adjust yourself to not have forward momentum as you're falling down on the blocks from above yeah I'm getting impatient <laughs> because what happens is when you have the forward momentum you just automatically just drop through the gap between the blocks and yeah okay I can do it you can do it Anyone can do it with enough practice. Bloop. Bloop. I'm gonna land here because I don't know whether safeness. Okay. Bad time for the fly to be around from last part. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording this in the last part on the same day. Okay, safe, safe. Okay. Oh, I despawned the other one. Good. Very good. I wonder if I could like drop through the gap and then hold left until I get to the wall. Okay, that's that's a lot more stable because I can like um, use the upslope to um, to prevent myself from falling rather than picking a specific block. I think this might be the hardest level yet. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I think Ice Bomb Bridge was. In all honesty, this one is, uh, it's just mostly about getting the feel of, of the, uh, uh, blocks. And I think, I mean, I'm not all that worried about, uh, losing lives or anything like that, because as I said, I got a nice life-grinding spot at Snide Tide, and whoa, that could have gone badly. <laughs> I was like, between the checkerboard of the blocks, like, at the corner of all four block spots, and I despawn it again, good. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna try here is falling off and then when I'm falling, I use... I mean, I, I, pu I push left, so I take out the guesswork of landing on a block. Yeah, that's the trick. Yes! Alright. I've got myself a consistent technique. Except maybe here. Oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. Why must you guys jump so high? E. Okay. You Ooh, safe here. Okay, here's the spot that I so stupidly fell through the hole th in because I somehow managed. I don't know how I managed to do it, but I did. Oh wow, you are a gauntlet. I'm gonna despawn you. Okay. Oh no, didn't work. Let's try it again. Okay. Oh wait, that's the other one that's coming back, not the other one. Oh shoot, I did despawn the other one properly. I could have gotten past you with relative ease. Oh wait, actually, what I could do uh, is get that other one back, the shorter hopping Koopa, and use its shell to wipe out the other one. E. 
you know, providing I can get it safely. Although, let's try and despawn there. You know what? I, I don't know. Maybe I can get past you now. Yeah, okay. He was in a better spot that time. Oh, and yeah! Woohoo! Second level took a lot longer than expected, but blame the blocks for that. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next parts. We do the Sandy Shrine. All paths now officially led to here. Oh yeah.